Welcome to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Badass Direct Sales Mastery is a podcast for rock star direct sales moms who are determined to make their business kick ass. Jenny will share her knowledge of effective sales and recruiting techniques, tips to get what you want from your business, and will interview direct sales professionals and leaders from various companies. The interviews will give insight to how these rock stars got to where they are and where they plan to grow in the future. And now, the direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Welcome back to another episode of Badass Direct Sales Mastery. I'm your host, Jenny Bellinger, your direct sales dom, helping you whip your business into shape. And I am very excited because even though we are an international podcast and I have interviewed people in North America, US and Canada before, we have our very first international non-English speaker as my guest here today, Luisa Cuna. Did I say that right? Cunha. Cunha? <laughs> yes, Luisa okay. Cunha. Luisa, I should have asked that beforehand. See, guys, you don't have to be perfect to be a podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Luisa Cunha is a therapist and she specializes in aromatherapy. She gives training with aromatherapy for all women who want to find their physical, emotional, and spiritual balance through essential oils. So welcome to the show, Luisa. Hello, thank you for your invitation. I'm very happy to be here here with you. (laughs) Oh, I'm so excited. So let our listeners know, where are you from? I'm from Portugal. I'm from Lisbon um, and I'm very Portuguese. So Uh, I hope you understand my English. (laughs) Oh, it's very good. Don't worry. And trust me, your your English is much better than my Portuguese. (laughs) (laughs) So, so Luisa, tell our, our listeners, how did you get started with doTERRA essential oils as part of your aromatherapy practice? Yes, I started with doTERRA more or less five years ago uh, because I have allergies, pollens, and I was very bad and uh, I was taking lots of medicines and, and the medical d- doesn't uh, understand what I have. And the universe brings me doTERRA and essential oils. And I started with the three oils in more or less a week. I don't have any symptoms, anything. So I was astonished with, with that. And uh, I start to using with my family and change all my life. And doTERRA brings me a new life and brings me energy that I have lost because of the old medicines that I take. Oh, that is wonderful to hear. And you and I met through BNI. I swear the listeners right now, they are probably so sick of hearing BNI, but guys, we are in network marketing, direct sales and MLM. 50% of our job is to build our network and BNI is how I do it. There are lots of other networking ways to do it, but this is how Luisa and I got connected. So tell me about your journey of being with doTERRA and then jumping in with BNI and how has this helped your business? Yes, I started to sharing doTERRA with friends and uh, all my my therapy. And then I, I need to, to have more uh, contact with other entrepreneurs. And I joined BNI and BNI was amazing because I can share more doTERRA, I can help more people with essential oils. And it's a very important network marketing is it's important in my life and BNI is too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And what I love about BNI is not just the referrals, which is why most people um, join, of course, because it does really help build your build your business through word of mouth referral, which is the most powerful way to build a business. We all know this. Otherwise, network marketing wouldn't exist yeah. because that's how we all build our business, right? But what has kept me around in BNI are the relationships, the education, the, the all that I've learned that I've been able to apply to my business because of the people that I've met and all of that. So for you, what has been a big boost to your business because of BNI? How has it really helped your business? 
yes, BNI was getting out of my comfort zone and is growing by a person and the, the business. And I can know more people and knowing that their, their needs and I, I, we do Terra, I can help them and grows my, my business. I'm in BNI more or less three years. And it's very important. It's a, a big part of my, my, my results. And I think the relationship, the education, it's growing by like a person and like entrepreneur that brings me more. I can achieve more people and I can yeah. help more people with all the contacts that I have in the BNI. I, I agree. I agree. I, I have said for years, I cannot imagine my business without BNI. It just, it, I'm so, so relational that I, I prefer having those, those warm introductions than the, the cold chasing down of potential clients, right? It's so much easier this way. Yeah, and you learn a lot of with uh, another uh, another entrepreneurs, and uh, you you learn how to to be in public, to speak in public. It's it's uh, it's growing every day with BNI. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The the public speaking piece, you know, I, I don't know what it's like for for people in Portugal, but I know here in the U.S. there's a statistic that says that more people are scared of public speaking than they are of dying yes because speaking in public speaking it's 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 crazy because we have uh, we shake and we have uh, fear what was with what we have to do and speak and bni gives me the the chance to to get out of my comfort zone and be with another people that teach me another things and uh, we can we can grow as an entrepreneur but we can we give them we give uh, sorry i'm speaking portuguese in the, in the middle of the, this speak we 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 win and we give to the others too so exactly it's, it's a givers game <laughs> it is it is and so in, in your 5 years in business with doTERRA what would you say is your proudest accomplishment, the, the, the thing that you are most proud of that you achieved with your business? Well, to, to help more people. And I, I, five years ago, I, I, I can imagine that I'm in public speaking about uh, essential oils and can give the, the opportunity to other persons to, to have a better life and balance in, in their life. So it changed my life. And I say it's Aram. Duterte changed my life. So can change your life. That's why I had a podcast that calls Aramotherapy can change your life. And the essential oils is a give. The nature gives this essential oil. So we have to, to use it and have a gratitude that essential oils can help physical, emotional, and mental. So it's very important. I love it. Yeah, it, it and I I love that you have a podcast. I totally forgot that you have a podcast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's called Aromatherapy Can Change Your Life. Yes, but in Portuguese, aromatherapy yes. can pode mudar a tua vida. There you go. What <laughs> what she said, guys. <laughs> so, to our to our to our listeners who are Portuguese speakers, go yeah. check out her podcast. Um <laughs> You know, and, and or maybe if you just want to immerse yourself into the world of Portuguese aromatherapy, yeah, and <laughs> learn Portuguese, <laughs> yeah, and learn Portuguese and and aromatherapy at the same time. Go yeah. take a listen to <laughs> Luisa Cunha, and we'll make sure that we put the the link to your podcast in the show notes as well. Because hey, if we can make it easy for people to go take a listen to your show, yeah, let's do that. I love promoting other podcasters. I. I I love having a network of, of people who can help with that. So, and so the next thing that I'm curious about with your business is what has been an obstacle other than the pandemic, because we've all dealt with that. What's an obstacle in your business that you have continued to have struggles with, or maybe you're in the middle of dealing with right now that maybe our listeners could help give you an answer to, or maybe I have something I can share with you here. I think so. The mindset, it's important, the mindset. Don't quit. 
have the confidence and even the the bad days you 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 thinking no i can get it i i can do it i can help more people that it's the the, the issue and every day i think mindset is important i have uh, a phrases that i think every day that keeps me the 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 focus or where i want to go and i think the mindset it's very important mm. to keep going Absolutely. And and I think part of that too is understanding that we're going to have up days, we're going to have down days. We're, you know, yeah. we're going to have good days, we're going to have bad days. And the key is to not to not allow the bad days to be the time when you make the decision about whether you're going to stick with the business or not. Yeah. You know, one of the one of the very first interviews I did on the podcast was with a gal in San Francisco. She is with a company called Rodan and Fields, which is a skincare company. And she has been, you know, one of their top level leaders for years and years and years. She's been with them, I think, probably nine years now. And she said in her interview, or maybe it wasn't during her interview, we might have just talked about it off off camera or something. I don't know. I'd have to go back and listen. It's been two years since I put that podcast out. But Andrea Burnett said whenever she has a team member who calls her up and they're ready to quit, her recommendation is, okay, I totally get how you feel. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Go fill your bathtub, pour a glass of wine light some candles, lay in the bath, relax and call me back tomorrow. And we'll talk about it. Yes. Tomorrow is another day. And I was like, that is the most wonderful set of advice for someone who's having a bad day and they're going, I want to quit. I'm ready to be done. I was like, that is some very solid advice. Go take a bath, pour a glass of wine and just relax. And now you could even add in and put in a few drops of. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) An essential oil. And I ask, I ask a question. Why are you doing this? What was your, your deal? Why, why are you waking up and do this business? Yeah. It's very important because if we wake up and we have thinking, what are you doing this, this, this business? Um, I think it gives the energy to, to, to keep going. Yeah, it's very important. What are your why is is very important. Yes, yes, I agree. So I I think that's an important piece, but I think it sometimes helps to just, you know, when people are in that bad space, they're sometimes not ready to hear about the why. And, (laughs) you know, so that's what Andrea was saying is she said, you know, we'd have that conversation the next day after they had calmed down, you know, did some self care. And then, you know, we'll, we'll talk tomorrow. And usually she said they, they usually came back with a really good attitude. All business have bad days. So it's important to keep going and keep the the focus and be positive, even the bad days. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. I mean, and you know, we're all allowed to have bad days and feel the, feel the bad feelings and, and just recognizing it's not going to be that way forever. You know, it's, and I posted a quote by one of my client's friends. She said, you know what? I saw her comment this in, on a Facebook, a Facebook post one time, my client's friend said, I never have bad days. I have bad moments, yeah. but I never have a bad day. And I and went, the bad day gives you, gives you a force to, to keep going because the bad days in Portuguese, we said closes the door, opens a window. So yes, <laughs> yes, we've heard, we, we have that in English too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When, when the universe closes a door, it always yes. opens a window. Right. Yes. So, and and one of the things I've said to my clients, and, and I literally just had this conversation with one of my clients yesterday, you know, hey, we can't have a rainbow without the rain. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes. And so it's it's just understanding those bad days give us perspective for our good days yeah. and make us so much more grateful yes, for more our stronger. good days. Yes. Yeah. More stronger. No. Yeah. I love that. And so, <laughs> Luisa, you've been in business now for five years here in the United States, and I don't know if this is true in Portugal, so please let us know, but here in the United States, there's a statistic that says uh, about 90% of people who go into direct sales are out of the business in five years or less. So you are part of the 10% that's made it the five years and you're, you're going strong, you're doing well. 
what would you say your secret to success is that's kept you as part of the 10% who's still still in business? Quit is, quit is not for my, my dictionary. So I think we have to, to purchase, purchase, or purchase, I don't know how to say it in English. We have to keep going what we want. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe in Duterra. I believe in essential oils. Changed my life. Changed my my emotional life, my physical life. So I think I can help more people. So I still uh, uh, believe that even the bad days are uh, are to have uh, me stronger. And I think we have to keep going and be focused. And if we want to help people to have a uh, life. We we want to to help people have a better life. I have to keep going. Um, yeah. I don't have uh, the choice. I have to to have energy and um, put some essential oil on me and let's go. Let's I go. love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because if we go out of business, there's there's a bunch of people who aren't going to get the help that we can provide. Right. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. When the business becomes more than you becomes more than the money that you make and it yeah. becomes about the people you're helping. It's so much easier to stick yeah. with it because it's not about you, which is really interesting because that's also how I explain to people, you know, how to make the sales conversation easier. Quit making yeah. the sale about you, the money that yeah. you make. Mm -hmm. You know, when it comes to sponsoring and offering the business opportunity, quit making it about you. Yeah. Because it's not. It's about it's a, the product and about the other. And yeah. uh, it's the only thing, uh, these two the product that is very good and uh, the other, uh, I want to help uh, another person to have a better life, physical and healthy, and money. Uh, so, <laughs> the, the the my mindset it's it's keep going in this in this focus. I love that, and you know, really, I think that's the perfect way to to wrap up this this interview and this conversation. But that's not all, because Luisa also does have a nice. She's got an ebook and an audio book now. Be forewarned, of course, because her native language is Portuguese. Tell us a little bit about your audiobook and your ebook. What is it all about? About the emotional that you can, with the essential oil, you can help stress and uh, anxiety, sleeping well, have uh, more focus, more energy. Essential oil can help in all these things. So I made an audiobook and ebook in Portuguese um, because I think. Most of the, the problems, physical problems, are connected with emotional. Mm -hmm. And it's important to, to, to focus in the emotional to help, have, uh, to help the physical. The book and audiobook theme is about uh, emotional and, and how can do you deal with the emotional and uh, having essential oil with you and helping. Hi. I love that. That is awesome to hear. So we are going to put the link to her audiobook and her ebook in the show notes. So for those of you who are regular listeners, you guys know how to get there. But if this is your first time listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery podcast, the way you get to the show notes is you're going to grab your phone as long as you're not driving, click on the episode that you're listening to right now, pull it up, and then just scroll up a little bit and you will see the show notes where we have Luisa's contact information and the link to her ebook and audiobook right there and you can click there. Now, English speakers, fear not because if you download the ebook, there is a thing called Google Translate. So if you want to translate it and, and learn what Luisa has to say, you can download the ebook, run it through the Google Translate and be able to read it in English. So, you know, frankly, it doesn't even matter if you're an English speaker, anybody, you know, somebody who wants to read it in French, wants to read it in Spanish. Here you go. Right. So I... Google Translate, you know, hey, people, use your tools. As a former teacher, I used to tell my students all the time, hey, when you go, when you go out in the real world, you're not going to be expected to know all the things. You're going to yeah. be able to go look at the internet. You're going to be able to, now we can pull out our phones and, and find the answers. 
So I say, I taught my kids, what's more important is that, you know, where to find the answers and if you can trust the answers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, (laughs) you know, telling people, Hey, use your resources. She's got it. Louisa, you have a great book. That's an opportunity for people to learn more about aromatherapy and how it can help their emotional well-being and their physical well-being at the same time. Why wouldn't you take advantage of it? So thank you for offering this opportunity for our our listeners and especially to expose them to a new language. Thank you. Thank you very much. (laughs) Absolutely. No, I so appreciate you being here and I appreciate you taking time because I don't know what time it is where you are. We're we're recording this mid-afternoon for me here in the U.S. I'm sure it's It's evening here. It's evening. Yeah. So (laughs) thank you for taking time out of your evening to come share your, your story, your journey with my, my listeners. And Luisa and I have already figured out, we're going to also do a version of this in Portuguese. We're going to bring in a translator. So that way our Portuguese listeners get an opportunity to hear Luisa in her native language and we'll bring in a translator. So that way I have an idea of what's going on. (laughs) (laughs) You are learning Portuguese too. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, you know, I'm, I, I love pulling back the curtain and letting the audience hear about the, some, some of the fun things that happen in the pre and post interviews sometimes. And, and I, I've got to admit right before Louisa and I jumped on, I, I ran to Google translate on my, on my computer here really quickly. It said, how do you say hello in Portuguese? Luckily, it's really easy. It's just like saying hello in Spanish. They just spell it differently. Yeah. Spanish people, Mexicans, they put an H in front of it. The Portuguese goes, no, it's hola. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, we we took we took that silent H off there. Nobody says it anyway. It's confusing, right? I, I like the practicality of, of the Portuguese people. So yeah. well, thank you, Luisa, so thank much. You very I so much. appreciate it. So funny. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate you so much. And I look forward to our continued relationship. So and listeners. Badass crew, you guys, thank you so much for being here for another episode. And please reach out, connect with Louisa and and thank her for being so brave to come on and do an an interview in her second language or third language. I don't even know how many languages you speak, but you did an amazing job, Louisa. So please guys reach out to Louisa and tell her how awesome she was. She did a great job to help build her network of English speakers as well. I'm sure she'd love to connect with you guys as well. So Thank you, Badass Crew, and stay tuned because there is another episode on its way. Thanks for listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Why are you waiting to go to BadassDirectSalesMastery.com? Don't make the dom get her whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with another rock star that you know in direct sales after you subscribe to the podcast so you won't miss any future episodes. You can also check out the show notes for links and any contact information mentioned in today's episode. We'll see you next time.